TPMS sensors, tire pressure monitoring system. They can get complicated, but this guy, plug and play wireless. Those are the two things I love. Hey guys, it's going Kinshir, making more videos again, and today guys, we got another unboxing, and this time it's a TPMS monitor, so without further ado, let's get to it. Yeah! So you guys know what I love on this channel. If it's plug and play, if it's wireless, solar powered, you know, free electricity, free energy, and last but not least, the price. If all those things are in check in terms of value, etc., that makes a good product, guys. This thing right here is a TPMS monitor, a tire pressuring monitor system from this company called Audu. And a lot of cars, even till today, do not have a monitoring system for your tires to tell you know, what the actual number in terms of PSI, KPA, uh, the pressure that is in your tires. You know, most cars just have the light that turns on, you know, oh, one of your tires is low. It's like, which tire? I can't tell because, because they look pretty much the same. I have a TPMS monitor in my car at the moment, my Honda Accord, but I wanted to get some for my other cars. It's gotta be solar powered, it's gotta be wireless, and this is what I came up with. Let's get unboxing. Oh, ho. love this box right here. Oh, all righty, let's see what this is all about. Foam, some literature right here. Ooh, a giant sticky pad, and oh, yes, the actual TPMS monitor. Oh, man, let me slowly take it out and put that down to the side. It has some nuts right here. I'm gonna show you what that's for. It has a wrench right here. I'm gonna show you what that's for also. And then finally, the actual sensors themselves. Really nice. Let's put the box down to the side. Okay, this is a giant sticky pad, you know, because this is all wireless uh, no bolting or anything like that they, they have a sticky pad right here it's one of those sticky pads basically you, you know if it gets dirty you just wash it off let it dry and it's, it's stickable again uh, and you basically put this on your dashboard and then you put this bad boy on top of that and bam you have your system ready to go right here really innovative I'm definitely gonna be using this bad boy put that down to the side some literature right here, make sure you read this to make sure you know what you're doing. I really believe it's fairly simple though. All you do is basically plug these guys in and you're done. So before we actually look at the system itself, I'm just, like I said, there's some nuts right here and also a uh, wrench right here. And this is basically for safety precautions just to tighten the crap out of this thing uh, so that it's not easy to remove. Cause basically once you have this on, this does not come off unless you actually untighten the, these bolts right here. So let me put that down to the side. Okay, so the actual sensors right here and You'll notice, let me uh, bring it really close to you guys. Uh, you'll actually notice that it, this one right here is RL, which is rear left. Uh, this sensor right here is for the front right, front right, FR, front right. And you'll notice that each one has a different sticker on there. I'm gonna place it right here. I'm gonna place it right there for you guys to see and let's open the main meet and greet of what we have to deal here with. Oh, so beautiful. Let me just take off the uh, sticker right here. So as you can see, it's a totally wireless monitor right here. This is a display right here. Here's some buttons. Uh, I believe these are touch sensitive buttons. And right now it doesn't have power, obviously, because it needs to be charged using the sun. This is a solar panel, really beautiful solar panel. And whenever this thing gets sunlight, when you're, when you're driving or whatever, when you're parking in a parking lot while you're going grocery shopping, this thing gets power. Now, obviously for the first time, what I'm gonna do, it also has a USB port right here. I'm gonna be plugging it in to charge this bad boy up you know, put a USB port in there, charge it. That's what I'm gonna be doing first. Normally you wanna do that first, you give it a full charge. Uh, you don't have to put this outside in the sun. Uh, the beauty of the solar panel is that you never have to worry about this thing ever again. These are one of those set it and forget it kind of devices. They're just there and they work. And whenever you have a flat or whenever your tire is getting low, you actually know which tire it is before the TPMS sensor light that's on your dashboard turns on. Uh, in most cars, there's a yellow light that turns on. In older cars, they don't even have anything so this is even better this is where this comes in extremely handy for any car I've already had a nail in my brand new Falcon tires and when I got in my car one day I noticed that the pressure was low on one of my tires however the manufacturer TPMS light had not come on yet and I actually took it to the place got it replaced told them that on my sensor it says that it's on and the guy was like well your lights not 
not on and then I just said I insisted just please check it and he actually checked it and bam what do you know there was an actual nail in there so so this will tell you if your air pressure is low or anything before the TPNS light comes on so what I'm gonna do is go to my Highlander and this works with any car obviously I'm gonna install these bad boys on my valve cap you just basically screw it in into the valve cap these sensors uh, that's how simple it is you screw it on the right tire you put this in your dashboard and bam you're done so without further ado let's get to it alrighty guys I got the beautiful Highlander right here and I have the product right there laid out for you guys and you can see it's actually working right now I have every tire installed except the front left tire which I'm about to show you how to do now before I even get started guys I want to say that all you have to do is literally take this out of the box fully charge it into the wall first plug this bad boy into each tire and you're done that is it you don't have to mess with the settings you don't have to calibrate anything you don't have to do anything that is the beauty of this product you just turn it on plug it in let it charge for two hours fully charge and then bam you're done now how this thing turns on is a motion activated you know what I mean when you get into your car uh, it automatically turns on because it detects motion that's the beauty of it that too so you don't have to mess with that you don't have to turn it on and stuff every time all you need is the actual one nut the spanner and that you don't even need this really but this is added security just to make sure that this stays in place like I said you don't really need this so now I'm gonna do all this one-handed and I'll show you how simple this is like so we're gonna take the nut first right here this nut gonna put the nut down for a second and we're gonna go to the tire and this is the tire one this is just a normal cap right here uh, doesn't actually check any pressure or anything like that now we're gonna outfit it out so I took the cap off right there next step is just put this nut on like I said you do not need this step however uh, this is just added protection it keeps it in place it's really tight basically uh, next step is to get the so make sure you're getting the corresponding sensor and then bam the second step is just put this bad boy in like this do it really fast and make sure it's secure not like completely twisted on and stuff make sure it's secure and tight doesn't it's all good and then put the nut back on get the spanner wrench whatever you want to call it put it on here and tighten this bad boy up tighten the red tighten the nut up that ensures that you know you this is completely tight and you can see I just tightened it up right there and right now it's secured in there and I've done it for every single tire here's one of them here's the other one on the back Here's the other one on the other side. And finally, all the way in the front. And you can see it right there. And now, for the moment of truth, look back at the results. And would you look at that? 2.1 in clear display for that tire. Now, as you can see, all of my tires are pretty much 2.1, and that one is a 2.2, which I think you still require more air. 2.1 is about 30 PSI or stuff. And these tires, they require around 30 to 35 PSI. So I'm, I'm perfectly fine. And I love the display also. It's a nice LED display. You do not need to mess with any of these arrows you don't have to mess with that well working working with rims I have some dirt in my hand just why when you start working your car you have dirt in your hands now the next step is installing this bad boy into your car and that is as simple as taking a sticky pad and I'll show you what to do all right let's get into my car right here and you can see here is the pad and here's the actual device really simple to do guys all you do is take this off and you know I'd always do my mod uh, one-handed so if I can do it one-handed and I'm gonna end up placing it up here as you can see I've just put it down and then you just take off the other sticky part of this and this is a not a sticky pad that's gonna stick to your car it's just so that it has friction basically so it doesn't move around like so there's a sticky pad right there and the rest is history guys you just basically put this bad boy on top right here like so it's gonna stick it right there and bam you're done and like I said this is not a permanent sticky pad it's just so that it doesn't move around you know like when you're driving it doesn't you know shift this way that way it doesn't fall or anything like that and it just stays right there and it's a set it and forget it kind of device and it's not even in my way while I'm driving however it is there when I need it to make sure uh, that my tires are in optimal settings and optimal pressure just just in case to make sure I'm increasing my MPG miles per gallon which in turn was decreasing my dollar spent in gas so that's a pretty cool device and like I said it's a set it and forget it device you never have to charge it again solar powered and that is what I love about these kind of devices guys so I'm loving this thing and like I said it just sits there it's, it's, it's actually pretty awesome I have one in my Honda Accord also and when people are also sitting from right here they always tend to ask me whoa what is that thing what is that device right there what does it do and then they always end up getting one because 
because they see it they're like whoa i didn't know you could do that i didn't know that even older cars could have this kind of thing and i think every car should have one because personally if it's going to tell me exactly how much pressure my car tires have that little one or two psi that you didn't know that your tires needed you know throughout the whole year will save you a lot in terms of gas used so pretty cool device guys like i said i'm loving this thing i'm going to be leaving it here i have one in my honda accord and i know you will love it Alrighty guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Links to Precious and Bad Boys in the description below. These things are awesome and they just work. They're wireless, they're plug and play. You just literally plug it into your valve stem of every tire and it's a set it and forget it kind of device. That is what I love, that is what you love. Like I said, links are in the description below so make sure you go check it out. There should be a subscribe button popping right here. Make sure you click on it for more videos in the future. There should also be a video button popping right here. Make sure you click on it for more awesome reviews. But other than that guys, keep your share saying thanks for watching it. Peace.